how it goes it everybody i'm kujo and welcome back to sloppy dog gaming for another episode of seopolis 2 i believe this is episode 7 it's kind of like 7.21 something uh and you can see there's some changes some changes behind me some changes on my armor here so uh the mod had an update and it changed out the diving suit to this one um i don't know if i like it uh you still sink down like you would regular. You're more floaty in the water. Um, you don't get 10 minutes. You get a longer amount of air is all it does. It just greatly uh, increases the amount of air you can breathe or have to breathe or whatever you would call it. And uh, we, we did some changes here. Let's start out with going into our compact machine over here. There we go. So this is our fluid system. And we have space for the last fluid we need to make. And I got this design from Exalted Zoro. That's what it was. Exalted Zoro in the uh, Ben Ben Bla. Ben, 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 that's a tough one to try to say fast. Ben Ben Bla mod pack uh, Discord. Uh, it was Exalted Zoro posted this design for his fluids. And I thought it was pretty amazing. So we got all these tiers going up. That's making the improved... This is making the skulking. This is making the colorful. And then this is making the nether. And then we need the last one, which is, I don't remember what it is, but we need like end stuff for it. So that's, this was a major upgrade. Um, all we have to do is once we get this fluid, we just add another ender tank on here. And it'll do all the things. Another organic fluid. Okay, now we can hop out of here. All this is still the same, but on the back end, it is different. So now we just have this pumping into lava. Which we are... No, we're good. Why is it taking a long time? Do we not have this upgrade? Yeah, we do. So it only makes one every now and then because this is full. We have it running into a sieve, which now has emerald meshes. Into a, a diamond chest, which is getting uh, imported into this wall, which has all the things on it. Like I said, I... <laughs> I recorded like half an episode before I decided to scrap it, start over, get this going the right way. A little more uh, on the ball. We were a little all over the place before. Um, and then we got our approved the same thing. We got our skulking uh, stuff the same thing. It's all going into here, which apparently we are not making very fast or at all. We have the things. Why is it not outputting? There's one in here. Skulking or organic matter. That has the fluid. There's one in there. Maybe we need to break this pipe. Let's try redoing this pipe. Oh, and I have thing, things in my inventory too for the next uh, chapter thing. What is going on? Why is it? It's like when I add the filter in, it's fine. Configured for items. Let's clear that filter out. Let's try to add it again. Does it lock it up? No, it's going good now. Something, there must have been, must have been some filter on it or something. I didn't see a filter listed. Maybe I'm blind. I don't know. But now we're going with the things. It's going to fill up all the stuff um, and get all the, I hate when I do that. <laughs> get all the things going. And then we have our, well, I kind of went over this before in the last episode real quick before we ended it. Um, all of that comes into here, which is put into the colorful... Um, we have the colorful organic fluid with the transformation powder gets into there, goes into the here, goes into there, gets sucked into this guy, and then that's all done. And then this I didn't really cover at all, but we have a lava tank getting or a tank getting filled with lava, and then it gets a redstone dropped into it, which makes netherrack. We have a round robin filter put on this, so it puts one into the netherrack deal, one into the hammer. Then the hammer makes the crushed netherrack, which we then sieve, which gets us the nether transformation powder, which is put into a barrel with nether organic matter, which is coming from this tank from our super amazing thing. And then nether organic matter comes out of that. And we sieve it with the 
emerald mesh also, which gets us all the nethery bits like this. I don't have a glowstone spot over here. I kind of want to put a glowstone spot over here. Do I have one and I'm not seeing it, or do I actually not have one? Oh, I do have one. It's right here. There we go. It was just taking a second to suck out. So now that we're caught up, I also want to hop underneath. You kind of saw it a little bit. But we we majorly cleaned this up. We did a bunch of stuff with the cables and got rid of all the item pipes piping all over. We have a little bit of spaghettiness going on with the, the power, but not nearly as bad as it was before. So what we're going to do to kick off this episode, we're going to go through. I have all this stuff in our pocket. We're going to claim the chapter quest reward. We have the plastics. And I should have everything in my pocket. I went through this at the end of the last one. Made sure I had everything. And then we can move on to another chapter. Clickety, clickety, click, 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 click. And what do we get for reward? Ooh, netherite upgrades. We get four of them. That's pretty handy. But I think before we plug these in, because if you look at them... We're going to use 8,192 RF per tick. And there's our big reward deal. It finally caught up with us. It's going to take, it take, it's going to process 64 things at a time, but it's going to take a whole lot of energy to do. So we are not ready for those. We need to up our power game. These four compression dynamos are not going to, we're not going to cut it for us. We're going to have to start setting up a power room somewhere. Uh, maybe we'll do it underneath our storage island. We'll do a little power room. We can kind of connect a little tunnel over to it that is going this way. So we, maybe we can connect a tunnel through here. Make a little doorway and head that way for things. All right, for nether matter, we have all this because we are sieving the nether matter. Let's collect that. We can kind of move on with what we need to do more. Um, let's get rid of all of this. We'll put these in here. Our bee bucks that we, we never seem to use. We're still making the fluids, the, the refined latex. We've got to keep collecting these up. Making the plastics. Because I'm sure we're going to need the plastics. So now what we need to do, we need to get into this, right? I, I kind of want to skip. If we can, I think we can. We do get into some mystical agriculture here, which is going to be amazing. Because we can up our lava game too. Um, but I want to get into AE2. So it says, although quest following... So they changed the AE2 recipes to be similar to refined storage. I prefer refined storage myself. Um, I just think it's it's a little better. How much iron do we have? Do we need to do some irons? Now eh, we got 604. We can make some stuff. All right, we got some stuff saved. Just grab what we need at the moment. And we'll get going on the refined storage. Um, obviously, we can make a... Let's make another one of those because we're going to need a nugget. So let's grab a set of nuggets. I'm actually going to put these over in a compact drawer so we can have all the things. Have them stored up in there in the correct spot. So that's two quests down. We need to make a fluid encapsulator. What do we need for this guy? Um, we need a machine frame, which we need the Electrum stuff for. And we need two iron gears. Copper, it's copper gears, copper gears. Not irons, coppers. Let's grab eight of these guys. Got our two copper gears. Now we should be good to get this going if we make a machine frame. Fluid encapsulator. We didn't make the redstone coil. Now the fluid encapsulator. All right, fluid encapsulator. I think we need to do use this to make the silicons, I think is what it's saying. If we take a look at our deal here. Silicone we can make in the fluid encapsulator. We need molten silicone, which comes from sand in, in a magma crucible. Let's save this recipe real quick. Let's make one of those. We do have a magma crucible already, but uh, we're using that for the latex. So we're gonna make a separate deal. Separate deal for our deal. We might put these right on top of our power for now. And and like everything, the, the, the location of the stuff is probably gonna change eventually. Uh, we need another redstone coil. Need another machine frame, and then we should be able to make our magma crucible. So if we take this, and let's do, let's try to do this a little smarter. 
So we can output this way. We're going to input from the back. And this we're going to input here. And output, we'll output back. How's that sound? We'll have an input and an output back there. And that'll get us our silicon. And it'll be friggin' automatically uh, uh, stuff done. <laughs> Brain works amazing in the morning. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep that song in there, don't worry. Alright, so we need an import. Do a filtered import. Do we need a filtered import or just an import? We'll just do it import. I think that's fine. We don't need a filter on it. We need to export too. Then we'll need some cable. Hopefully 12 is enough to get us there. Let's swim on over. So the export is going to go to this guy. Import to this guy. And then we can cable up to across here. We need to grab a piece of sand. See what I'm talking about with the like the floatiness? Let's grab our export. We'll throw a sand in there. And up to priority. 50s I do for exports all the time. I don't know if it affects it, but I do 50s for exports, 30 for storages. So it tries to put stuff to the things that require exports before things going into storages. So that should be going, allegedly. Yes, we're getting molten stuff. Is it getting put into here? No, let's do auto input. There we go. It is going. So this is going to make us our silicone, right? Did, it, did we need something else in here? We need a prosperity nugget. That's... That's the thing. Okay, so we're going to grab another export. This is where I wish we were getting the laser IO. And export's going to go on top. We will also input there, and we're going to have to connect up here with our cable. And... We need Prosperity Nugget. So there is another way it shows to get this that's way easier. Um, but it's not able... You're not able to do it. In Material Stonework Factory, which would be super amazing to get it. But you click on it and there's no recipe for it. So this is the way we have to go. Um, we should be getting silicone in our system now. We need to grab that. We already have 15 and it needs a drawer space. Is this Is this compressible at all? It compresses into a, a Certus course court box. Will this work in one of these? No. Okay. Where's our key? So let's place our silicone. That's kind of that was kind of weird. There we go. Silicone will go up there. We do have quite a bit of overflow too. I didn't show you guys that. Um. All right, and we're out of the stuff. So let's gonna passively keep going and getting our. Our stuff going so we can come in here let's make a 1k storage part already seems a bit early for this what are we missing oh quartz enriched iron I of course there's a problem with that we need nether quartz and iron of course it's not craftable tell you what though I'm very excited to be getting into the uh, this stuff Refined storage. Simple storage networks is great for early game stuff, but I, I kind of want to move on. I like the automation with the refined storage better. I like using the crafters and stuff. I wonder if we have different crafters. Do we have the tiered crafters in here? Yes, we do. Diamond crafter, netherite crafter. There we go. So its base speed is a lot faster, and it's got 81 pattern slots. So we can just make a bunch of these, 
and we'll be good. Speaking of netherite, we can probably go through and upgrade all of our meshes because how much do we have here? We have three and a half thousand uh, netherite scrap, which is going to essentially go down by four. So it'll be like six-ish, 600-ish netherite ingots or something like that. Something like that. Math is not my strong suit. So we got that. So process binder we can do also, right? Let's grab some of that stuff. We already made the magma crucible. Already made this guy. We need to make some sky stone too. Just sky stone dust. Is there another way? Blackstone in a fluid, fluid encapsulator. With silicone. Now that we've got... Let's, let's shut off this and then we'll just go like that. And now it'll make some sky stone for us. Not DKY. Sky. Let's grab a drawer slot. I like using drawers for things. There we go. And I believe all of those drawers are now all voided. And they all have um, at least one diamond or emerald. One emerald upgrade. All right. We're getting the sky stone. We got that stuff. Let's collect up some quests here. We got some more quartz and rich iron. We got some bee bucks. It's so crazy that we're ma we made a storage part up here, but we're not getting down to like a controller and stuff down this way. Uh, now we need... Uh, okay, so binding, ironing it, redstone. I want to make some more of this binding. There we go. We got a stack and some. Iron. Redstone. I'm probably just going to make like a stack at a time of these things. So I'm going to let this cook and then we'll get on to the next one and we'll make that too. All right. So we're waiting on our last deal to make up. Um, I want to upgrade our thing. So I made up a stack of netherite because we can do that kind of stuff now because we have materials coming in and it's super amazing. So let's grab all of our meshes that we have. And we need the upgrade station back because I think I put it away when I was cleaning. What is it called? Smithing table. <laughs> That's why I wasn't using either of the words for it. There it is. Plop this over here by this guy. So we can add those, add those, and boom. Then we can go back and add our deals in. I don't think there's anything above this, is there? No, there is not. So this will up our gains too. There we go. All upgraded to netherite. All right. So, and now we have our three stacks of each of the processors. So I'm guessing we need to cook these, right? Are you for real? We need more silicone. We need so much silicone. Holy cow. More redstone, more silicone. Is that the same as this? Silicone, redstone. So I need three more stacks of silicone. Three more stacks of redstone. And then we should be good. And we can smelt these things down. Alright, so I kind of upgraded this a little bit. I think that's so weird that the the pipe only renders when there's something to actually output. Um, we are, Our backlog here is our silicon. Right? Or our, yeah, our molten silicon. Which we need to make the silicon. So it's kind of weird. I um, wonder if we can make components. Can we make these ones? Electrum and a hardened and some signalum. We have not made signalum yet. But we can. Silver, copper, and redstone. All right, I think right for now, we're just going to go with the... The Invar components. We'll make two of these guys. We put one in each to upgrade our stuff. Make it go a little faster. Hopefully we'll be able to keep up with the molten silicone at this point. We're keeping up better. It's better. It's not the best. I think if we get up one more, if we make that signalum, we should be good. So we would need eight signalum. So 16 signalum. Redstone, four redstone per four. So each one's a gear. So three, so six copper, two silver, eight redstone. All right, let's do this real quick. There we go. There's our signalum. It's probably a quest at some point. 
We'll grab our other augments out. Grab our gears. Forgot that was for each. Oh, did I only grab one silver? My bad. So I'd only made enough for one deal. Now I need to make enough for the next deal. Oh, it's the redstone. There we go. Put those in there. I need to replace that redstone we had. And now we should be able to make our next one. There we go. Two of the reinforced deals. See if we can keep up now. I believe we're going up. I believe we have this, the, the power now. It's dropping down to 300 is the low. Oh, maybe we're just not keeping up maybe, but it's definitely going faster. So it's not quite there, but it's better. If we can get up to the next tier, which I don't think we have the stuff for, because we need, um, well, we probably could. We just don't, I don't want to get into it right now. So that'll work for now. Do we have our three stacks of this? One, two, no. Two, and a three. So there's our deals. We make three stacks of each. We can do these two at a time. And I'll be right back once uh, everything's done again. So as you can see, our power requirements are getting down there. We're barely squeaking through. We need to get a power room online. But our processors are complete. So we have a stack of each. Collect all those rewards. What is this other processor? What is this? Raw natural processor? Oh, it's one of each of the three. So I need to make a stack more of each of these guys. Terrible. So that's iron, gold, diamond. All right, so I added a couple more. Uh, well, we had this magmatic dynamo, right? We already had this. What are we generating? 80. Do these do the same? 80? Yeah, so they're the same. Um, these ones are probably only at 40 yet, because I, I don't have upgrades in those yet. I should probably make some. We need one more gold deal. So I have two that I couldn't upgrade. There we go. We should be generating plenty now. This one generates a lot. 640 because <laughs> that's got the the high upgrade that we got from the quest rewards so we should be good on power now but anyways uh let's grab our processors i was making up some more iron also and then if we take our processors i'm gonna split them between the two so we get it done a little bit quicker and we should have our other third processor that i didn't even know existed We'll have a stack of that, and then we can grab, what is it, silicone and redstone, I believe. There we go. Once those are done, we'll slap this in there, and then we'll get those also. What else can we do? All right, there's half of them and the other half, and now we can do the same thing. We'll just split this. Run it in two so it goes a little quicker. All right, looks like our stuff has kicked off. We should be good. I don't, I, I don't even know what these are used for. Let's get some more iron going, too, because I know we're going to need it because all the quartz and rich stuff we got to do. Um, let's take what are the uses on this. So we need this to make crafters, huh? Like diamond crafters, netherite crafter, iron crafter. No, just gold, diamond. How do you make the netherite crafter? Yeah, you need those, too. You need, okay, I was looking at the recipe. <laughs> you need those, you need the diamond, and the diamond, you need the gold. So we're going to need these. We're going to need a lot of these. Because I do want to use netherite crafters. But we'll probably get more into those once we get our automated crafting up and running. Alright, so we got our quest. Now we can move on. We need to get some cables. Um, that's not too bad. I probably should get some more glass going. Because I think we're going to need it. Let's hop over to this guy. I also upgraded this to a... a uh, what's it called? Emerald Furnace. We don't... We're still not producing the power, though. It sucks the power pretty quick. But we'll get some glass going in that guy. Let's grab our cables. We'll make a stackish to start. Why did only... Oh, because you can't. It makes them 12 at a time. So we'll have at least a stack there. And then we needed a machine frame type thing. Machine casing, it's called in this, right? Which is a machine frame. Oh, we got to make some more Electrum. Auto crafting cannot come soon enough. I can tell you that. All right, so I made up a bunch of uh, Electrum. 
bunch of gears and such. Uh, we need to make machine casing, which means we're going to need machine frames, which means we'll make a couple of these because I'm sure we're going to need a few. Start with eight. Let's make one for now, and then we'll move on in the quest and see what else we need. I was looking ahead a bit. Um, we got another machine casing, some more cable. We need to make a controller. There we are. A disk drive. We need a grid, which we're going to turn into a crafting grid. I just need the regular grid, though. There we go. I don't need the color dyed version. What are we missing? Uh, we need construction core, which is a raw silicone, glowstone, and netherite. So we need a raw silicon deal, which is... I didn't realize we are going to need raw ones. I'm going to make some more stuff up. All right, so I made a stack of each of the raw stuff so we can try to get going in here. Uh, what were we making? Oh, we are making the grid. So we need to make glowstone, raw, and certus. Not certus. Nether quartz. So I'm going to do... I'm just going to do a half stack of those. And let's see what the other one is that we need. Same thing with redstone. So instead of this, it's redstone. So we can grab half a stack of there. Grab our raw processors and redstone. All right, we got some cooked up. Let's grab a couple out, drop them in the inventory, and we can get our grid going here. We made machine casings, did we not? Oh, we probably only made two. That's right. We didn't make a ton. So then we should be able to take our grid and make it a crafting grid. Just like so. Alright, what do we need next on here? So we have all this stuff done at the bottom. Oh, we got a 1K storage drive, which is weird. None of the storage drives are... I mean, we, we got a 1K storage part. That was in there, but we need exporters, importers, and a crafter. Just make a crafter, come on. I hate waiting for the colors. There we go. And what was it at the center? Ooh. I'm going to guess that it's a machine frame. <laughs> yeah, I'm not waiting for it to go around again. There we go. We got a crafter. Auto crafting stuff complete. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a break here. I'm going to do some building off camera. And we're going to make our refined storage room, I think, is going to be up here. We're going to do everything. I'm going to make a building over this. This is all getting moved. I need to go to sleep. And then we're going to have, like, a, a big refined storage building up this way. I'll see you in a bit. All right, so I kind of got stuff done. I wanted you to be here, though, for the plugging in of our deal. So there we go. We have power to it. Um, we haven't done too much yet. So we got a building. We got a building made. It's not super cool amazing. I mean, it's a little cool and amazing, I think. I mean, it's kind of cool looking with the contrasty different types of blocks and stuff. This is just a uh, white brick extra from some mod. I don't know. It looks kind of cool. Um, we come inside and we have our little center part here with our terminal, which we don't have anything in because I haven't put any discs in. We got some discs wrapping around here. That should be plenty enough for the rest of the mod pack. Um, this open slot here is going to be crafters. Uh, even if we don't need them, we're going to put crafters going along these are pretty super cool so these are framed sea lanterns from that same mod as this uh this stuff and let's hop down below um you come over here and this is the architecture architects cutter and you put i put so i put the polished black stone in there you can get all kinds of different things i mean we may change out i didn't even realize there was trap doors because when you type trap doors you type trap doors in here these don't come up so when i was looking for trap doors i did those which i don't want i would rather have bricks panel that's kind of cool this would be kind of cool right let's try this together let's get some more brick things the blackstone bricks so i need like uh, 12 of these. There we go. That's kind of a cool thing. I mean, you really have to put blocks in it to play with it to see what you need. Do we have a hacks here? There we go. 
So if we take these guys... That looks kind of cool. I think I like that much better. It tie I was kind of going because I used dark oak on the outside. So I was trying to use the dark oak to try to tie it in in here. But I kind of like the way this looks. This looks pretty amazing, I do say. Look at that. It gives it a little bit of texture on the bottom. So it kind of bumps out. It's not just like a flat wall, right? Um, and everything's good to go there. Let's take a look at our quest book and see what we have to do. But these are super cool. It was just black stone and sea lanterns is all it is. So you can kind of experiment with that mod and see what you can create, I guess. We just got a bunch of bee bucks for our rewards. Um, our refined storage is complete. Is there something we missed here? We didn't get a big boomba, right? Or maybe that was complete. If we come in here, where does this start dimensional oh infusion altar okay so we got to get things done in this way um we gotta start getting to the mystical again it seems like it's kind of out of order -y. so we need to get the infusion altar deals um all right let me get set up for some of this and we'll start getting going um i'm probably gonna craft a couple storage discs um let's go downstairs we can be with us for that let's see how much storage we can get up to here so let's just make as many 1ks as we can we made 11. There we go. We got 12 now. We just need some more quartz enriched iron. Which is iron and quartz. All right. So I'm going to craft up some more of this and I'll be right back with you guys. Oh, we got all our, our destruction cores and construction cores done. Burb. All right. So there we go. We got four uh, blocks or <laughs> not blocks. Ingots. I don't think you can make these in blocks. Can you? Oh, you can. Do I have these in a drawer? I don't. I don't think we're going to need a block for anything, though, right? Oh, I must. I must have them in a drawer because it's converting. Oh, well. We're good. All right. So back to making 1Ks. Let's see how many more we can do. So that's 64. So we're up to 58 1K storages. So we need, we need to make more processors. We have a bunch more of these, I believe. So we got 73, but we're out of the basic processors. So that's iron... Uh, binder and redstone. All right, I'm gonna get these done up and then we'll be right back and see how big we can get. All right, so I made up two stacks of the basic and then one of the approved, one of the advanced. Let's see how far we can get with our storage with these. Are we, no, we're not out of, what? What goes there? Glass? There's always something, isn't there? Okay, we're up to... Another 16 of these, and we're missing glass again. Got lots of glass here. 44 out of glass again. So these aren't the same as, like, uh, applied energistics. Uh, I forgot to get glass. Forgot to put one in there. Um, in that they only hold a certain amount of types of items. That's one of the reasons I prefer, uh, refined storage. There we go. Out of glass again. I think I'll finish out this stack and then we should be good to, to see how high we can get by then. Or maybe we'll just finish this glass. All right. So that we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. So let's do a recipe on this guy. Put our deals in here. And we lost quartz enriched iron again. All right, so I think we have enough uh, stuff for the time being again. Let's see what we can craft and what we're going to lose. We're out of processors again. How many more of the 1Ks do we have? We still have nine. <laughs> I didn't know I made so many. We have 90. But we need more processors. We're going to stick with the 48 of these guys. Uses, let's move it up to 16Ks. Let's see how many we can get of those. We got 16. Can we get three 64s? I think we can. We got five 64s. So if we can make one more of these, we'll get two 64K storages. 
Is there a use for this? Can we make? Yes. 256. We need the advanced processors. We should have plenty of those left. So let's do this. Let's just uh, make our casings with this. This one, we can do one of them like this. And we'll have three drives. But we'll have a lot of space to do stuff in. Machine case? You need machine casings for the deal? You don't need machine casings for the storage housing. Why do you need it? What was I, what was I making a recipe for? Oh, <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. This is the recipe. No, that's not the recipe. This, this is the recipe we wanted right here. And there we go. We got three storage deals. Let's hop over to our elevator, pop up into our machine. We'll just put these in here for now. We have 200 or 384 thousand but the biggest thing we're going to need to do is connect everything up into our system um because all the stuff that's connected with this is going to have to switch over to be connected with the other thing uh the import buses not import is it importer importers and we're gonna need a bunch of those we already have them saved we're also gonna need some external storages these guys so we got we'll get those made up off camera probably i'm gonna continue to push on since we already have this stuff done let's get into our mystical agriculture stuff is that quest not unlocked what do we need to do infusion altar which needs so it looks like we, we really have to get into this first. So let's hop in down into this area. So if we hop in here, Prosperity Gem, we can make one of those. Done. Then we can make an Inferium Gem, right? An Inferium Infusion Crystal. Okay, so they have a bunch of different tiers of crystals apparently now. It used to just be the two. The basic and the other one. Prudentium Stuff. Let's grab a Prudentium. And we're going to need Prudentium. So we need four of these guys, right? Where's our crystal? Here we go. Now we should be able to make a Prudentium crystal now. If we upgrade this. There we go. And, oh, so that makes a new one. Even though we have one already. So the whole freaking, we want, I want to get that up to master is, is freaking quick as possible because it's a pain in the butt when it takes uh nbt data like that and that's not very fun so we collected up a bunch of those we just got b bucks okay so now can we get into the dimensional shard this guy okay so we need to make some of this so it looks like it goes out from here right so we're gonna need this guy we'll need this guy we need to get some of that, that crystal, that, that crystal. And I think that should do it for now. Right, so let's get in here. We need to make tritium. Yeah, I said that correct. So let's make, uh, like, four stacks-ish of those, and we our crystal died. But I think that was our old crystal. We have this one. Oh, you can't use... This crystal to down tier? You can't down tier it? That, that's weird. So we're going to need another crystal. So let's grab four stacks of this, okay? There we go, four stacks, and then we can get up to the terrichium. That's weird. Okay, I haven't used this in a long time, because... Oh, do we have more than a stack of that? We had an extra four, apparently. So then, from there, we can make our other crystal. I really want to get up to the master. Is there a master crystal? I didn't even look. Oh, master we need to get through insanium. So we need four insanium to do the master. But we're going to get there right quick here. So we need the orange deal to make the that deal. Then we can make some blue deal stuff. We can make 15 of that. Which then we can make a blue crystal. Which then we can make some of this stuff. And 
And we can only get two out of that. So we're going to have to go down and tear up again. So let's go back here. I want to make another one of these crystals because I know we're going to run out of it. So let's make what we can. We have a lot of this stuff, I think. All right, that should be good for now. We'll tear all this up. So if we want to go to the orange. It's this crystal, right? Yes. And then to the blue with the orange crystal. To the red with the blue crystal. We got 16 of those. Then we can make a red crystal with the blue crystal. <laughs> it's so confusing. And then we can make the insanium already, right? We're just flying through this. We need three. <laughs> we need one more for our crystal. For our master crystal, right? Let's save that recipe because that's going to be four. So let's do it all over again, right? All right, so we're out of the Inferium, Inf whatever it is. Yeah, Inferium. So this, whatever we get out of this is all we're getting. I think we'll be okay, though. Yeah, I think it's going to be close. We needed two more, or one more, so we should be good there. All right, let's get some more Insanium. Let's get our Red Crystal in here. That's five. Master Infusion Crystal with our Red Deal. There we go. We don't need any of the other Crystals anymore, and we have an Insanium left over. That's insane. Let's see what we get out of this. Oh, we got a bunch of others. <laughs> probably could use it. It's probably not much. Yeah, it's not much. So now we can craft everything in the infusion crystal area. What else do we need to do? So we need to make the infusion altar and the infusion pedestal. I believe we need... I forget how many it is. Uses. Let's look at uses on this. So we need five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these guys and one of the altar, right? So we need eight of these. We need to get some more orange stuff. Downcraft these. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And now we need this tier, dude. And there we go. That's, uh, we completed Mystical Agriculture. <laughs> we didn't complete it. We, uh, we got it started, basically, is all it is. We crafted this tier of stuff. So that is Mystical Agriculture Refined Storage. See, they're both not complete, even though it says it's complete. Oh, no. Green means they're complete. This one's not complete. That's what was throwing me off. And then we can get into the dimensional shards, which brings us to the end stuff with the infused ender block and all that. Um, I don't think we know. We can't get this yet. We, I was going to do a chapter and challenge deal. We did one at the start, so we did one today. Um, but I think that's going to be it for today, folks. So if you stuck around at this point in the video, you're super amazing. I truly appreciate you. You do more for this channel than you can imagine. People, watch time helps so much with likes and comments. If you interacted, please, or if you haven't interacted yet, please interact. Leave a good like, leave a comment. All the interactions help push us up in the search. Help us grow our channel. Help us keep making more awesome things. So if you like the video so far, please hit that like button. So far, it's, uh, it's over. <laughs> if you're new here, consider subscribing. If you got something to say, say it down below. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.